Hey, I'm Mitchell and welcome to another video in the RSP Education Series. In industrial automation, power isn't just electricity. It's the backbone of every control system, motor and machine in your facility. But why do some systems rely on single phase power while others demand three phase? More importantly, what impact does that have on your equipment, efficiency and maintenance? Single phase power is everywhere from PLCs and control circuits to small motors and auxiliary systems. But unlike three-phase power, it doesn't create a naturally rotating magnetic field. So how do we make single-phase motors actually spin? And what are the trade-offs? Let's break it down and stick around because in part two, we'll show exactly how we overcome the biggest weakness of single-phase motors. If you like this kind of content and want more educational videos, please like and subscribe. Also, this video is for educational purposes only. Always consult a professional for your application. RSP Supply is not liable for any misuse of this information. With that said, let's get right into it. So single phase power. It consists of a single alternating current waveform, typically delivered through two wires, one live or hot wire, and one neutral wire. In the US, single phase systems operate typically at 120 volt or 240 volt. The voltage alternates between positive and negative values at 60 hertz. The voltage in a single phase system rises and falls in a single sine wave, which means power delivery is not constant. It does drop to zero twice per cycle. Single phase power is commonly used in residential settings, but in industrial automation, it's often used for smaller scale equipment like lighting, small motors, sensors, controllers, low power actuators, control circuits and low power devices. Like I just mentioned, it is used in control circuits. So single phase power is commonly used to power control systems like PLCs, programmable logic controllers, HMIs, human machine interfaces, sensors and relays. These devices typically operate at low power levels like 120 volt or 240 volt, and sometimes even 24 volt. Small motors, uh, single phase motors are gonna be used in smaller motors smaller equipment like fans, pumps, conveyors with lower power requirements. Single phase power is at work in lighting in auxiliary systems. Office spaces, lighting, other non-critical systems in an industrial facility, these often run on single phase power. Let's talk how single phase motors work. There is a problem. Single phase motors don't create a rotating magnetic field on their own like three phase motors do. A single phase motor, it just produces power that oscillates or simply goes back and forth like a swing moving in one line. This isn't enough to make the motor spin on its own. So to get a single phase motor started, split phase windings are used. Single phase motors require additional components like split phase windings and maybe a capacitor thrown in to create a rotating magnetic field because a single phase supply alone cannot produce that rotating field. The starting torque is also lower on a single phase motor and the motor design is more complex compared to three phase motors. The fix is to make the motor spin, we need to create a rotating magnetic field. This is fixed with split phase windings and sometimes also with capacitors. How we get a single phase motor to rotate is a conversation for part two, our next video. So now you know why single phase power is used in industrial automation, its limitations and why single phase motors don't naturally spin on their own. But we're not stopping there. In part two, we're diving into the fix, split phase windings and capacitors. How do they create a rotating magnetic field? What's the role of phase shift? And why do some motors need a capacitor while others don't? We'll break it all down step by step so you can understand exactly how single phase motors overcome their biggest weakness. For hundreds of thousands of other industrial automation products, go to our website. For any other information or other educational videos, visit us at rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware.